Welcome everyone back to Adara's Lounge. So we have a really special video today to do and just for fun we're gonna try live streaming it to YouTube at the same time as well. Gives me a good chance to see if I can ever do lives again in the future. But so this is a pretty special video to me. So not a lot of people know but I love the character of Figment. Um, I've been to the Disney World parks a couple of times and Figment is just my all-time favorite character. It really started with my uh, one set of my grandparents had taken me and my family and he, my grandpa loved Figment and so I kind of joined in on that love. I really enjoyed the idea of imagination um, I never got to see the original, I think it was Journey into Imagination um, ride that was gone before I ever made it to Disney, but I've had a really fun time learning more about Figment's origins and as well as Dreamfinder. So uh, we're going to be opening a special package of pins that I made a nice deal with a friend for, but before we do that, I just kind of wanted to show off some of the Figment stuff. So. Uh, recently, right before Lorcana release, actually, um, I found this graphic novel at the comic store that I had been visiting to see if they were getting Lorcana. It's a super interesting um, comic book, graphic novel -y. It covers really Dreamfinder and Figment, and I just had a lot of fun going through this one. I'm really glad to add this to my Figment collection. So we have that and then of course because we're opening pins we have to talk about some of the pins that I already have. So these are mostly my Lorcana pins uh, but I have this super cute rainbow figment pin that a friend gave me of him sleeping underneath a rainbow. Um, it's definitely one of the pins that I really treasure. So we have that one. Then Oh, let's grab some of these. So then we have kind of the rest of the figment pins that I already own. So they're just on here as a temporary thing. So I have a nice, decent little collection of them. Let's see if I can get them up here. It's just some really classic ones. I love the 4th of July figment. Um, that's an OG one. But my very first figment pin ever was this one. It's the classic figment in the yellow sweater. So it's one of my older pins that I really treasure. We got this Epcot figment pin um, when I got to go to Disney World on the honeymoon with my husband. So really enjoyed that. Have some fun moving pins of figment. Um, just some classic poses as well. And, and more recently, I was able to, with the help of a friend who is a D23 member, was able to snag one of the limited edition figment pins that they had released recently. So really excited about having this one. Then I think my, when I fell into the pits of looking at eBay, I definitely ran into this pin and fell in love with it. So this is, and we can actually take this one out. I had not taken them out of the packages yet. So I found this pin on eBay and it seems like the story behind it is it was a special gift pin that you got when you signed up to attend the 2007 Where Dreams Happen uh, Disney pin celebration. So there's 1,047 of these that exist but I love the colors on this. Figment is flying by a castle with these three little bluebirds. It's glittery, he's wearing a cape, and I fell in love with this pin, and I did not think I was going to be able to find another one, and another one ended up popping up on eBay, and I was able to snag it. I think I got it as a buy it now. I'm really happy to have this pin. I think it's one of the most beautiful pins out there. Figment's in his lighter purple. 
And then eventually, um, I don't think we're opening any of these today, but these are, um, they're a special cast lanyard series. So they're pins from the Epcot parking lot, I think is what it read. So this is from parking lot. So C 39 through 42 and it's create. There's a set of, I think like seven or eight of these that I want to work on building together. They're not um, all the letters, it's just a couple, but I think they're super fun. They have figment, they have a fun letter, a uh, fun word on them. So I'm really looking forward to grabbing the rest of these and having a full set of those. But with that in mind, let's go ahead and grab our package. So, a decent sized package. Friend said that it is packed pretty well to the brim. We have our trusty scissors here, so we're gonna go ahead and carefully cut into this. I made sure neither of us would be doxxed with this, so there should not be any address information on this. I'm sorry to everyone who's gonna watch me use the scissors in a very bad way just faster. I'm sorry. So we have a lot of pins in here. I think there's over 20, but they were looking to get rid of some of their pin collection and I was super happy to go in on it. Uh oh. So we have an Iceman broker fee. What is this? What did, so Iceman is another friend on the server. <laughs> it's a Hans. So apparently Iceman, I guess you're getting a broker fee. I'll set that aside for you. Very fun. Okay, and here we go. So I already see a couple of these and I am so stinking excited. So we're just gonna start at the top and we will work our way down. So let's see, I'm gonna move the mouse up there. We'll put the box right here and then we'll kind of open here in the center. I need to be able to still get to my coffee. So let's dig right in. These are all figment pens. So I can't remember, I might've even mentioned it, but love figment. I was like, oh, you don't happen to have any figment pins, do you? And of course, of course you had figment pins. <laughs> okay, uh, this did not come across in the photo. I love this. So it's a magical montage 2016 limited edition pin, but this light bulb has glitter in it that moves. Okay, I love even just that. And then, you open it up and it's Dreamfinder. So Dreamfinder is definitely a cool character. I definitely like Figment more, but I think it's really cool to like hear the history of how Figment came to be. I would love to meet Dreamfinder if they ever started doing a meet and greet with him again. Oh, you guys can totally see how that glitter kind of goes back and forth in the light bulb. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, next pin. Oh, I just got, okay. I just got this joke. I'm sorry, I'm slow sometimes. So it's an Iceman for an Iceman. So Iceman is uh, one of my friend's Discord names. Um, and it's Hans 13th in line is an Iceman. I get it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's grab another one. This tape is not super bad. Which one is this? Oh, okay. I had never heard of this event before. So this is the Imagination Gala. Um, it is a limited edition pin from there. Figment is riding on a magic carpet that looks like it's from Aladdin. Let's bring it up a little bit more. So it says Imagination Gala, a magic carpet event. These are really pretty purple rhinestones. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but they're little teeny tiny. So 
that's a super fun pin to have. Just big, gold, gorgeous, and it's fun. Apparently, I definitely want to look into. I don't know if they still do this event, but it definitely seems like something I would love to do one day if possible. There's a lot of bucket list things that I've learned about related to Disney. So we're going to open this up. Oh, so this was one of the pins I had been watching on eBay. So this is a Flower and Garden Festival pin with Figment. This is from 2016. So Figment's made up of little flowers. Um, it's kind of like a topiary. I've never been to one of the Flower and Garden Festivals. Um, I definitely would like to go at some point. Um, I think we went to, and when we were there for our honeymoon, it was the Art Festival. So did get to see a lot of figment for that. So this is a pretty gold in the background, the sun. I'm thinking this is like a see-through clear. Let's pull it off real fast. I'm thinking it's kind of like a yellowy, oh yeah, it's totally like a yellowy see-through. You can kind of see my finger moving underneath there. So it's a pretty, this would pin would look really nice, like on a white shirt. Very cool. So limited edition annual pass holder. That was another reason why I wanted to go for these pins. So we are not annual pass holders yet, but there's a lot of pins that you can get as an annual pass holder, and a lot of them have figment. And I definitely wanted to grab a couple of those. Oh, okay, so we have two pins here. So these ones are super fun. We're gonna start with the glow in the dark one. And yes, you heard me right. This pin is glow in the dark. So, I thought this was a super interesting pin when I first saw it. So it's Figment with Bubbles, I think is like the official name on it. Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't have a name on it, but I think most people refer to it as like Figment with Bubbles. So these three raised bubbles are actually glow in the dark, and I think the moon is as well. I'll see if I can take a picture and I'll maybe put it up um, right over here on the actual video. But... So this pin glows in the dark. I cannot believe it. I think the stars glow and maybe even Figment's eyes. I am so excited to see this pin glowing. It was so neat. Um, I just love the fact that I was able to get a copy of this pin. It is so fun. I will, cannot wait to see that one in the dark. And then... Ah, uh, this is the Figment Astronaut pin for Epcot. Let's pull this out. So it's Figment in front of the Epcot ball, and he is in his astronaut outfit. It just says Epcot. Just a super fun pin. It's really shiny. I love the astronaut outfit. I think it's maybe from the original Journey to Imagination. I think he might have had an astronaut outfit in there. So put that there. Continuing on, we have so many pins to open. So many. Who knows how long this video will be at the end. Oh, looks like we have another pass holder pin. So we have another flower and garden festival pin. This is from 2019. So this one says, let your imagination grow wild, pass holder, uh, Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2019. It has this pretty little hanging part to it. It's a gorgeous purple with the orange. Uh, figment sitting here with holding just a little flower. So there's a little figment. We're super happy with to see him. But just another fun pass holder um, pin. Super excited to get our hands on that. Oh, this is like the metal pin. So I did not know a lot of these pins even existed. I had not seen most of these on my eBay searches. So this was super exciting. So this is Magic of Honor. It's like a little medallion pin. It's limited edition from 2019. So super cool. Has Journey into Imagination in metal with figment and the buildings and the light bulb with the wings. And it's just a really cool homage, I think, to the original ride. So saw this, thought this was a really neat pin. 
I am really looking forward to having this one as well. And it does free hang, so this does come off. It had a little sticky behind it. So this is like an actual like metal that you can wear. The pin hooks are at the top. So this can hang from your lanyard. Super cool pin. Oh, and uh, I know some people who are pin collectors might be triggered by some of this. Um, I am not worried about keeping these on their backings. Um, I am definitely planning on displaying some of these when I'm not at Disney, but like if I ever get a chance to go to Disney again, like I'm going to be wearing some of these pins. I know they're worth a lot of money. I have locking backs for them. Um, I'm not looking to trade most of these, but you know, why have pins if you don't use them? Um, I kind of feel the same way about most of my Lorcana cards. Like I'm not going to send most of mine in for grading. Oh man. So this one has so many pretty colors on it. This is another 2019 Flower and Garden Festival. So this was one. This is another pass holder one and it is full of colors. So it says, let your imagination grow wild. Pass holder, Epcot International, Flower and Garden Festival 2019. Figment is flying by holding a bouquet of flowers in front of all these beautifully colored swirls behind him. I loved the bright colors on this one. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. So really, really cool pin. Um, has a single back on it. Just oh, loved the colors on this. He's outlined in purple. The metal is like, let me see if I can turn this to the side. The metal is like purple, which is really cool to have that extra tint on the metal. Very fun pin. We are going to have a couple of very interesting big pins in here. So I'm guessing that was packed lower to the bottom. Oh, we might need the scissors for this one. Let's see here. Sometimes I can get my finger in underneath the bubble wrap. Nice. This has also definitely restocked my bubble wrap. Oh, I think I see a Christmas pin. Yes. So this is another pass holder exclusive. I'm going to scoop this up to the side, I think. We'll go right here. So this is another pass holder exclusive. It's from 2004, and it has Epcot with Figment kind of peeking out behind it. I love this little, um, we have the Mickey Mouse with the uh, wand. It reminds me of, I think, what used to be, um, oh, so before it was Hollywood Studios, MGM, that's what it was, MGM. This reminds me of the little hand that was with the MGM hat. So it says where magic lives, you can kind of see it there on the bottom, and this opens. And it says, pass holder exclusive, Epcot, and it's Figment's little tail. Oh, that's very fun. So I like how this is like Christmassy, but not overly Christmassy. I feel like it, and maybe it's not even meant to be Christmas, um, but it kind of reminds me of an ornament. I love the border on it and the year. Very fun pin there. And then what's this other one? Oh, this is another pin celebration one. If we ever get to the Orlando area when there's this happening, I would love to attend at least once. Um, who am I kidding? I'm probably going to go every year if we're ever down there. The pin celebration. So this says Disney pin celebration, the search for imagination 2002. So let's see, I think this says hosted by Epcot in the little dangle underneath it. And Figment actually moves back and forth on this one. It's a little sticky, but he kind of goes, you can see it in the back. He definitely goes back and forth. Very fun. So he moves back and forth on this for the pin celebration. Oh, love this little pin. Very fun with Figment on it, hosted by Epcot. I want to go to this pin celebration. It sounds amazing. I've seen videos of it. Um, I would need a budget to go to this pin celebration for sure. Ah, another flower and garden festival one, it looks like. 
This one's from 2018. This is another pass holder one. This is very cool. So Figment is kind of rubbery on this one. So it says pass holder, 25 years, Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. This is dangling. Figment is up here pruning our pass holder thing. He's definitely a little darker on this one, but I love the 3D effect on him. He's kind of popped out from the pin. And it's just a fun uh, growing. He's pruning the garden. The 25 years is super fun, but very cool pin again. A lot of these are limited edition. And, oh, I think I see Flower and Garden Festival again. We're going to snip snip this one. And after we open all these pins, I want to show you guys what my plan is, I think, for displaying these. So this is Flower and Garden Festival 2019 again. So another 2019 pin. So this is figments flying up above, but there's the figment topiary, uh, 2019 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So this one does not look like it's pass holder exclusive, but love this big topiary in front of the Epcot ball. You can see figment flying up there. Just super cute pins. I love and hate <laughs> that there are these, this chance to get figment pins from the Flower and Garden Festival. I think also the Arts Festival has Figment, and they're definitely leaning back into Figment again, I feel like, with the ability to do meet and greets with him in Epcot again. <gasps> A bonus pin! <gasps> okay, so the question is, do we save this or do we open it? We're going to save this. We'll open this at the end. So, thank you for the bonus pin. We're going to put that right there so we don't forget about it. Oh, I see a big box in here. Let's keep opening some of these singles. Wow, this one's really well wrapped. I think that tape did nothing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this one's the bronze one. So this is a coat of arms pen. It's Walt Disney World limited edition pass holder again. Commemorative collection. So this is figment on a coat of arms that has like what looks like the Epcot ball behind it. Established 1982. I'm not sure if that's the year that Epcot was established or if that's when figment was created. But I loved the colors on this pin. They're so unique. I love how it's the bronze instead of the silver. Very cool pin to have there. Okay, here's another smaller pin, and then I think we'll do maybe one of the bigger pins. I see it right there. Oh, this is another Flower and Garden Festival. This one looks like it's from 2018. So, we have the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. This is a heavy pin. It has a lot of weight to it. So it looks like it's this little window that Figment is kind of looking through. He has the Epcot. You can see the Epcot ball behind everything. There's a couple of really pretty topiaries of Donald, Pluto, and Mickey. And Figment's holding this little map of Epcot. And it's Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2018. Love the blue border on this. I really like the details. Even there's a little Mickey, um, the Mickey topiary, or not topiary, but it's how they plant the flowers in the shape of Mickey. Love that Figment is kind of entering into Epcot here. Another great pin. Okay, time for one of the jumbo-ish pins. So this one actually has Dream Finder on it. So this is Figment and Dream Finder. It's like an image printed behind it. Love these. Uh, it's This is a heavy metal there's all of these things around it that I'm pretty sure are from the original um, Imagine Ed, of, of that. Oh, I'm blanking on the name. Adventures into Imagination or something like that. Journey into Imagination, that was it. And this is actually signed. I think they said that this one's signed by the person who created this pin. So very, very neat. And it's just 
the the picture quality on this isn't fun but it makes it feel like it's that old timey show i love that figments in his original sweater you don't see that a whole lot anymore and i really like the pins that have them in that original sweater with that like original color from him it's part of why i really like my og figment pin that i showed you guys oh this is fun so this is a set of three pins I think this was from the Flower and Garden Festival again. I think they were originally a set of four pins, but only three had figment, which is really what we care about here. So we're going to do all three of them together. So this one says exploration, fascination, and imagination. So it's figment with a little, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Figment with a little magnifying glass. Then we have Cultivate Your Curiosity. He's walking with a little uh, hoe and some scrolls. And then we have Growing a World of Imagination with him watering a flower with a watering can. Very exciting. Let's take those off of there. So this is a set. The set is only a thousand were made. I am so excited to have these three figment pins though. It's fun that they're all part of a set and you can kind of tell that they go together and it's, it's figment, but it is also not a big secret. I really want there to be a figment card in Lorcana. I would go crazy for it. I think he deserves an enchanted. Uh, everybody has, I know, their favorite character that they really want to get an enchanted. I really want Figment to be in this. But, so, I will constantly be asking for that. Okay, so we have a food and wine festival from 2018. This is a pass holder pin. So it says 2018 pass holder taste your way around the world and it's like a big metal silver the ball is on the bottom and then it's like the world showcase on the top you know now that i think of it i think we might have been there for this because we definitely got to have some of the special food that was there so i don't think we were here for the 2018 one but the world showcase is kind of where that happens so you open it up and there's figment in a super cute chef hat he has a background with like a bunch of, there's some avocados, some tea, salt and pepper over here, um, some fish, love that. And it says food and wine festival, Epcot International 2018 inside. It's a little magnet to keep it closed. Very pretty shiny pin. Okay, let's see, that's a big box. We're gonna open this box first. Oh, I think this is the correct one. I know which one I wanted to save for last for us to open. So this pen is still in its box. It's one of two. So we're gonna slide it out. Okay, this is super impressive. It must have come in this outer pack because this fits this so well. So we have Magical Melodies. I had never heard of this pin set before. So it is Figment on a record player. So he is in a cute little black suit, has the orange uh, music notes around him, and he is playing a trumpet. But So this is all on this big like wooden piece, it looks like, with this record player over it. So very fun pin to have in this record he looks so cute and dapper in that little suit. So, Magical Melodies. We'll put that right here. Actually, oh uh, yeah, we'll set that to the side. And then our big finale before we get to our bonus pin. I cannot wait to open this one. So, I'll be completely honest, this one totally caught my eye. I tried to do an internet search for it. I couldn't find it. And I was just blown away. So are you guys ready? Oh, we're gonna make sure we're opening it top down. So this is, I'm pretty sure, from the Imagination Gala. This is a big box. So here we go, let's see, can I angle it so we get the reveal? So we have a giant golden figment. 
with his little signature at the bottom. It's so fun. So this seemed to be kind of like the theme. I think I've seen other pin sets from this. Um, not like these jump jumbo ones, but from this event, um, they were all this golden figment with like the gold characters around them. Kind of like how there's platinum characters for Disney's 100. But this thing is huge. Like it is the same size as my whole thumb. This is very big and it's bright, bright gold with the light bulb being like a matte gold. So that way it kind of shines. This is so cool. It says Imagination Gala, a magic carpet event. So this is from 2014 in Walt Disney World. And this one's super fun. It is a limited edition of 750. So I am super blessed to be able to have this. I will say the, um, the velvety looking stuff in the back, it's just a cardboard insert. But this pin, oh man, I have not decided. Here, let's actually take off the top here. It's not taped. I have not decided if this pin is going to come out and be displayed or if I'm going to keep it in this beautiful box, but it is so stinking cool. All right, let's set him right here. We'll set our magical melodies next to it. So let's find out what this bonus pin is. We're going to pull this off the top. So this is a this is a surprise to me as well. Oh, how fun! <laughs> I see you, B squared. Yes, I am live. We were opening some pins that I got. You are here just in time. Oh man, so this is super funny. So at the beginning, I was showing off some of my other pins that I have. And I actually have this pin too. So very fun so it'll be nice to have one that's on the backing but it's this really pretty glittery on the background figment celebrating you can actually kind of tell i think that i wore this one while we were there it's definitely mine's a little bit more faded um so love having this fresh one that's super brightly colored oh man thank you for the bonus that is too sweet so the fun idea for displaying all of these when I'm not wearing them. So originally I had this little teeny tiny, let me see. So I had this like little window that was about this big by this big that I was gonna be like, oh, I could totally fit all my figment pins, you know, when I had like seven of them. Well, now I have a lot more. <laughs> and so I think what we're gonna do, and I'll have to put a picture of it, but so I have this big, display cabinet here that has like a magnetic close on it so it opens and closes and it has glass on the top so I'm thinking we might end up putting the pins in here it all depends on how well they fit so we're gonna have to try to fit some of these in I'm sure most of them are gonna come off the backings and I'm gonna set those aside but this was super duper fun. I think I'm up to, I think that puts me over 30 figment pins now that I own. So hopefully this will keep me from purchasing more pins anytime soon from eBay. But wow, this was so fun to open live. B squared, thanks for joining us on the tail end of this. Um, I am recording this, so I will repost as a video with maybe a little bit clearer pictures of some of these as I'm opening them. But this was super fun. Thank you so much to Squeezer who sent these to me. Um, I am very happy with our, our trade that we did. And these are definitely going to be treasured as part of my figment collection. But thanks for joining everyone. Yes, glad you caught it too, Brandon. <laughs> All right, see you everyone.